What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Earl's Collection collaboration with ASICS on this GT2160 in the Nawari colorway. So Earl's Collection, for those who haven't heard of it before, is a fashion label founded by Lewis or Louis Brown, who's a former professional rugby player from New Zealand. So this Earl's Collection collab with ASICS is inspired by Louis's Maori lineage. So there's a ton of references to Maori culture on this shoe. So these released here in Canada on February 23rd and they retailed for a price of 150 US dollars or $200 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is cream and peppercorn and this continues ASIC's concerted effort to really push the GT2160 as one of their premier silhouettes in their portfolio. So here's a quick look at the packaging. So this comes in a custom box, which is done in this brown base finish and mimicking the colors of the shoes, we have this bright and bold green colored ASICS logo on the very top, along with Earl's and ASICS co-branding on the corner. So as far as the shoe goes, and I apologize in advance if I mispronounce anything, I've tried my best to do research and hopefully my pronunciation is close, but again, apologies if I'm completely way off. So starting things off with a toe box, this is actually constructed out of a woven cotton material. And according to Brown, he said that this mesh layer represents harakiki weaving. So in their culture, they weave flax to make bags to carry food and resources around. And this cotton mesh shares a similar look to that. Right above this, towards the laces, we have this brown colored suede and we have the ASICS logo pressed on in green. And then overlaid on both sides of the toe box, we have more of that brown colored suede with this green reflective layer on the medial edge. And you'll see how the edges of these suede layers, it's painted in a darker shiny brown finish, which adds some visual texture to this layer. Surrounding the front toe cap, we have more of that brown colored suede. And again, according to Brown, in Maori culture, they have a place of gathering called a marae. They have these wood carvings, which are of course, colored brown. The same brown suede covers the eyelets of the sneaker, and then beneath this on the lateral side, we have the A6 stripes. This is also done in that brown suede, and once again, we have these shiny edges, just like we saw earlier on the toe box. When you compare this to the medial side, the A6 stripes here are left without those shiny edges, so it blends in a bit more on the medial side, whereas on the lateral side, it has a little bit more pop. Underneath this, we have more of that cotton mesh, and this surrounds both the bottom heel and the ankle collar area. And then we have another suede overlay which wraps around the middle of the heel. On the lateral side, we have Earl's Collection branding. And then on the bottom of the heel, we have a green colored suede. In the middle of the heel, we have this embroidered gel branding. And then the top of the heel is covered in brown suede with this small layer of green reflective 3M. As far as the laces go, so these come with two different lace options. The default lace that they come with is a stretchy and very soft green colored lace. And the hits of green on the shoe are inspired by Punamu, also known as Greenstone or Maori Jade. And in addition to this stone, according to Brown, the green also symbolizes where he's from, his tribe, Nai Tahu. So in addition to these green laces, they also come with a cream colored lace, but I think the green laces really, really pop and really tie in well to the rest of the green hits on the shoe. Underneath this, the tongue is primarily constructed out of that same cotton mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. We have this woven layer in the middle which helps hold the laces in place and then the top of the tongue is covered in brown suede and we have a semicircle layer on top with ASICS branding embroidered in green. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in this brown colored textile and then taking a look at the insoles. So these come with a very well padded foam line insole and the tops of the insoles are extremely vibrant. So this is inspired by Paua aka abalone which was Brown's grandfather's favorite food. So we have ASICS branding on the insole on the right foot and Earl's Collection branding on the left foot. So the upper of the GT2160 sits atop this chunky foam midsole which is painted in this cream color with hits of brown. In addition to the EVA foam, we also have ASICS gel technology which is visible on the lateral side of the heel as well as the center of the back of the heel and this is done in this vibrant green color and ASICS gel helps with impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole is constructed out of a mix of green and brown colored rubber. We have these grooves on the forefoot to give you added flexibility, and then in the middle, we have this TPU shank plate, which is done in this gradient style, and this helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about how these fit, to me, these fit like any other GT2160, so I personally prefer to go true to size. 
My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I pick these up in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. But if you're someone that has a really wide foot or you don't like a really snug one-to-one -one fit, you can go up half a size and I don't think it's gonna be too big for you. But for me, I don't mind a little bit more of a snug one-to-one -one fit. So for narrow, normal, or slightly wide footers, if you like that sort of fitment with your shoes, just stick true to size and you should be fine. To give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 in models like the Gel KN014 and the Gel 1130. So hopefully you can use that reference as a guide to determine what size to get for this shoe. Moving on to the comfort, so the GT2160, in my opinion, is a comfortable shoe, but it's not one that's overly soft and squishy. When you compare this to a Gel 1130 or a Gel Kano 14, for example, I feel like those two models are a bit more on the softer side, whereas this model feels much more firm underfoot, especially underneath the heel. So when you think of it on a spectrum, you have the Gel 1130 as the softest and the most cushioned on one side. You have the GT2160 on the other side being the most firm, and then the Gel Kano 14 right down the middle, which is a good balance of softness and support. So it comes down to personal preference again. If you're someone that likes a bit more of a firm feel underfoot, then you'll love the feeling of the GT2160. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship, so first off, the material qualities I was absolutely happy with. Everything from the suede, this cotton mesh, and even smaller things like the materials of the laces, it really felt well thought out, and the material quality I thought was really solid. And in terms of the build and the craftsmanship, my pair was pretty flawless. The stitch job was good, the panels were consistent between my left and right feet, and even the paint job on the midsole was really good as well. So I came away feeling that there was zero complaints about this shoe, and they felt very impressive in hand. So with all of that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. Overall, I think this is a very well thought out and very meaningful collaboration between Earl's collection and ASICS. It's obviously very personal to Louis Brown, and I thought he translated those personal references onto this shoe in a very tasteful way. If you don't know the backstory behind the sneaker, it's still a very unique and clean colorway, and I think the tones of the shoe give off a very natural, very earthy vibe, which I think at the end of the day works well. So leave a comment down below to let me know what do you guys think about this Earl's Collection A6 GT2160. What are your overall thoughts on this collaboration? Did you also pick these up? Did you decide to pass? It just wasn't your thing. Either way, leave a comment down below and let's talk about it. And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on x at sean.go spelt out, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. Appreciate the continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.